I don't know what I'm gonna get out of working with you, but it better be good. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is this? Wait a minute, what? What is this? Why is it reaching towards me? Stop! All right, we are back in Skyrim with Elven Iron Eye and his crew, and my goodness, it has been forever since I last played this game. I believe when we last left the team, they had just gotten to Blackreach, where we obviously are right now, and we came down here uh, to get a lexicon transcribed for a wizard, I believe. We are knee-deep in rebuilding the Dawn Guard. So we've got a bunch of Elder Scrolls with us, we've got this lexicon, we've got Serana in tow, and the plan for today basically is going to be looking for some sign of civilization down here uh, for some place that might transcribe said lexicon. I believe I mentioned in the last episode that I have not been to Blackreach probably since the game launched, like 10 or 11 years ago, and I wanted to poke around for a little bit. But it dawned on me uh, that we probably should be a little bit careful. I didn't have mods the first time I came through here. So there's going to be some differences, and it might be a little more dangerous down here specifically. Um, it's going to be a little bit darker, as we can already see, because I've got some lighting mods. I also have a mod that removes quest markers and then adds uh, descriptions to the quest journal uh, so that you can find things. However, there's no additional description here. It just says transcribe the lexicon. So we'll probably be poking around here for a while, whether I like it or not. <laughs> but the main thing that has me worried is there's not going to be any food down here. And I obviously, I have mods that mean we need to eat, uh, but also this mod removes uh, food from dungeons. Because there's in Skyrim, there's just like a bunch of like bread and cabbages and cheese wheels just laying around in hundred year old dungeons. So I don't expect we're gonna find any food down here. So we're gonna have to be a little careful. I think our poking around is gonna be limited to however long it's gonna take us to find the place that can transcribe said lexicon. But either way, that's the plan. And I do believe we're ready. So if you guys wanna follow me, now, I've got a couple of torches, so we should be good for now. And these guys have torches, too. They've been making... Every time we go to a, a town, they make torches and bolts and stuff like that. Eldman is just about out of bolts, which we have to be a little cautious about. There is a, a spot there that looks like it could be um, a place to get a lexicon transcribed, and I think I see a little pedestal on the, on the steps there. Um, but the thing that had me most interested is uh, there's a very unique looking thing over here. There's like this thing floating in the sky. Yeah, there you can almost see it. I'm not sure what we're gonna do first. Well, here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go into this little structure because that's where I wanted to go first and see what this is. We might run over and take a look at that, but ultimately I'm really curious to see what that big thing floating in the sky is. All right, let's head in. Cinderian's Field Laboratory. Maybe we can get it transcribed in here. All right, let's be careful. No, we're good. We're good. We're safe. All right. It seems like we're okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. T I'm, we're not doing this. I'm taking the Crimson Nerd Root so it quiets down. Done. <laughs> Started return to your roots. I haven't, like I said, I haven't been down here in like ten or whenever this game came out, like ten to twelve years ago. Um, but I do remember the Crimson Nerd Root. Uh, quest being as irritating as the, uh, what was it, the Stones of Baron Zaya? Oh, whatever. We're not, I mean, there's no way I'm finishing that quest. Alright, we're not gonna steal from this guy. I did just quiet down his, uh, his Nern root, though. <laughs> I don't know if he's coming back. Oh, well, maybe not. Are these, uh, farmer, farmer arrows? No, they're dwarven arrows. Interesting. Cinderian. Oh, this is him. Alright, cool. Cinderian had eight gold. We'll leave you with your money and we'll read your field journal. Completed. Discover the significance of Crimson Nurn Root. One of 30. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Cinderian, we're taking your journal. Uh, I suppose I'm going to rifle through your things, huh? We'll take your healing potion. I got no reason to sleep here. We're going to look in your chest. Oh, I need not of your gold, but I do need my companions to get out of the way. And that's about it. We've already read that book. Nothing else of any major interest to me here. All right, out we go. All right, let's go have a look. What's down here? Crimson Nernroot. I don't even care. I'm not touching any of it. <laughs> I'm not going to let myself get caught up in that. We're going to go look at this pedestal over here. I have a vague memory of what transcribing this thing was like. Though I don't think, um... I don't think Eldman does. What is this? Am I gonna regret clicking that? Interesting. Oh, I bet this goes to the surface. Yeah, that goes to the surface. Alright. Do we want to see where that goes real quick? Sure. 
Let's uh, let's take out our shields and let's go see where this goes. And we'll come back down here. The Alfthand lift, I think that said. Yeah, great lift to Alfthand. All right. Let's go back in. We're not trying to get cold. All right. That's good to know. That's a good way out of here, should we need to. And I think the next stop... Oh, shit. There's Falmer. They can't see very well. We should take care of them so I don't have to pass. I want to go over there. I want to go see what that thing is. That big globe in the sky. We might go take care of these guys. Shit, they already see us. I don't know if they do. Let's leave them alone. Let's leave them alone if we can. I think if we come around... This side? Mm, I don't know. Let's go take a look. Keep your weapons drawn. They're skulking around over there. We're gonna leave them to it. Can I get through down here? Eh, uh, yeah. We can definitely go this way. And we'll avoid those guys over there. We might get drawn in anyway, but whatever. I can't see, so I don't want to take out my shield, but I really don't want to get bit by that thing. I'm just gonna try to be... What is this? Oh, it's a tent. Alright, so there's probably Falmer down here too. Gonna be careful. Let's go deal with this bug. Maybe. I don't know. Let's come up this way. Come over here. Keep with me. Yeah, okay. We're, we've we've attracted somebody's attention. I'm gonna take out. There we go. I can't see him. And he hit me. He hit me good. Somebody's hitting me with something. I can't see. I'm completely blind. Alright. You know, Serana, I hate that you do that. With an extreme passion, I hate that you do that. I think we're fighting the bug. I'm gonna go see if I can come around and get him. There he is. There he is. Got him. Alright. Things are still not, not ideal. Elman still feels a little uneasy, and that's why. I'm gonna take out my shield. Oh, that's fucking Serana's thing. God damn it, Serana. Pain in my butt. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Up there. Don't you shoot at me. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, nice. All right, Serana, you're not so bad. Here, let's go up here and make sure it's clear. Oh, also, we can get a good look at where I want to go. All right, it seems like it's safe up here to some extent. Man, I can't see a fucking thing. I will very likely have brightened this up considerably in post so that you can see, but I am... It is pitch black. <laughs> it is. Let's take out my torch. I don't love having the torch out, because then I can get shot by arrows. We're just going to make sure it's clear. Clear enough. It seems clear enough. Let's go. All right, we're going to try to get away from this area without... Can we get up over here? Yeah, I see stairs. All right, cool. That's where we're going. Um, we're going to try to get away from this area without having to take a potion. We're getting a little toxified. We don't want to get too toxified down here where we can't do anything about that. <laughs> This is a very dangerous place for us to be with the mods that I've... I already see all this, like, um... All these, like, uh, ashes that we see floating in the air are very likely from the mod. You start to see, like, um, hallucinations. I think the mod is called Chasing the Dragon. If you're interested in the mods I'm using, the intro to the first episode, uh, I talk about my mods and my approach to modding. Basically, I make everything except for combat harder. Combat is technically still harder, it's just more deadly for everybody, so it can be very quick if played correctly. Just as I thought, somebody's already upset with us. Elden gets that uneasy feeling. No oh, shit! There? Yes, there is someone Show there, Brutus. Careful! Come on. Brutus, careful! Yeah. I'm going for the archer, I'm going for the archer. Nice. Alright, someone else is shooting. There he is. I'm going for him, I'm going for him. Probably someone behind me. I gotta be careful. Ha 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 ha! You missed. Don't you dare. Nice. What about across the way? Yeah, we got someone across the way. Come on, come on, come on! Don't, don't get hurt back there. Or there's a couple people over here. Guys, with me. Catch up if you can, please. Serana, stop, stop, fucking bringing things to life. God damn it! All right, there's an archer. He's gonna shoot. Oh, I walked right into that. Uh, I tried to miss it, and I walked right the hell into it. Now, we're gonna fight this guy. <laughs> nice. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Keep him, keep hitting him. Nice, nice! Good shit, Serana. 
You know, it's not so bad having a magic person. I don't love that she creates these thralls because they scare the shit out of me every time I see them. After playing so much Baldur's Gate, I'm almost ready to add a magic user to our party. I don't know that it ever will be Serana. <laughs> we really are not fond of vampires. I mean, we're in the Dawn Guard specifically to bring an end to vampirism. There is another sign of civilization. If we don't find a um, transcribery, as I'm going to call it, here, there's another spot for us to look. Hang on. Did you hear yeah, something? I know. I got it. I got it. Oh, no. No. Nice. You. See, that's not so bad. <laughs> All right, it's clear. And there's a dead body down here. Just a naked dead body. A Falmer servant. Is he headless? He is. I don't know if he's headless. I don't think he's headless on purpose. <laughs> I don't think they beheaded him. There's nothing here. Did we go up there? We can see if we can get up there. I think we did. I think. Oh, here we go. Debate hall. Interesting. Would you transcribe things in a debate hall? Let's go see what the other place is called, and then we're going to come back here. Oh, right, let's go see what this is, too. This is probably also debate hall. There was like a little, uh, a little like wizard's tower in the corner back there. I want to go check out. It was outside that gate we opened. But if that doesn't pan out, then we'll come back here. The Hall of Rumination, that, that sounds good. That sounds very good. That sounds like what we're looking for. We're going to go put eyes on that other spot. If it's nothing, which it may well be. The Hall of Rumination, like the debate hall wasn't really doing it for me, but Hall of Rumination, that's probably what we're looking for. Before we get tucked into what is probably... Oh, Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. There's giants down here. What the hell? Before we get tucked into a dungeon... Wasn't there something out here? Did I miss this? What the hell's going on? I stepped out this way. Oh, right there. There it is. In that corner. We may have already been there. Whatever, we're walking over. I might have already been over there, but we're walking over. It is unnervingly quiet here. I'm gonna guess this is not what we're looking for, so... We're going to be heading back to that thing. That's got to be it. I mean, uh, you know, it might not be, but that's like the most unique looking thing here. And if anything was going to transcribe lexicons, what is that? There's another little structure over there for us to check out. God damn it. We're going to be stuck in here forever. We're going to starve to death in here, which is going to not be great. <laughs> A door. Oh, nice. There's another way out. Oh. The Tower of Merzark. Huh. Alright. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, we're gonna check where this goes first. Hopefully we don't get stuck here. I really think we're looking for the Hall of Rumination, but we can go back. If we're not stuck here. We didn't get into a fight immediately. Nice. I can take out my shield instead, because it's kind of bright here. Oh, nice, and we got a little place to rest. Good, we're gonna do that. Let's just take a peek. There's a closed door, so we're pretty much good. And we'll look around. Nice. We found a little bit of food. What do we got? A glowing mushroom? Oh, I see food. Out of the way, Brutus. All right, good. We're going to poke around the Tower of Merzak, Mazark, or whatever it is for a second, since we got some food. I don't want to jinx it, but it's surprisingly quiet. No one has come to inquire about what the hell we're doing here. The Armorer's Challenge? Nice. The Armorer's Challenge by Mimophonus. 300 years ago, when Kataria became Empress the first and only Dunmer to rule all of Tamriel, she faced opposition from the Imperial Council. Even after she convinced them that she would be the best regent to rule the Empire while her husband Pelagius sought treatment for his madness, there was still conflict, in particular from the Duke of Vengido, Thane Minglumeyer, who took a particular delight in exposing all of the Empress's lack of practical knowledge. Hmm, interesting. Did we did I don't know if we did that in this uh in this playthrough yet or not. Visit that wing of Pelagius, that nightmare place. <laughs> nice, that is everything we're looking for. High value, low weight, gems, jewels, gold. I love it. Alright. We're gonna take a nap, and then we're gonna move forward. Oh nice, it's bedtime. We're gonna sleep. Wake up in the morning. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is it. Nice. This is without a doubt it. I have some vague memories of this. Oh, I don't remember how to do this. This was a pain in the ass. It is all flooding back to me now. 
Oh, uh, crap. Alright, are we safe up here? I just charged up like an idiot. Alright, yeah, this is definitely, this is 100% it. Nice! Awesome! And, uh, it seems we are safe. Wait, we'll check this guy first. Is this a skeleton or is this the keeper of the... The Journal of Drocht. There's Drocht. Nice. Drocht, I'm gonna leave you with your money. You've got nothing else I need. I am gonna read your journal, though. I weren't never one for writing about my life. The king priests of old deserve their stories told, but Drocht is a simple man. So this isn't no journal, and I'm not telling any stories here. But this infernal machine done worked its way into my brain space, and I won't leave till it's figured out. The whole contraption just sits like a dead horker if it doesn't have the box. Putting the box in the hole made it all come to life. Five rings, but only four buttons. Most of them don't work most of the time, anyhow. When the lights line up, more open, but they don't seem to help. Just make another damned thing move. The old fleabag Khajiit what sold me this cube said something about the light through, the knowledge through the machine rests on the cube. I remember because he made me say it back at him till I wanted to throttle him. So I did. <laughs> Tried to leave, but wolves to the top and then Miles freaks outside the tower. Gotta stay here till I get it right. And I will get it right. Alright, I'm very sorry to hear that, my friend. Alright, let's go check this out. We've got the box. He didn't have a box on him. We've got it, unless there's two boxes. That's nothing. A button, a button, a button, a button. Lexicon receptacle, nice, there we go. All right, and then we got buttons. We push this button, nothing happens. Nothing at all happens. What about this button? All right. And what did they say, push it till the lights light up? Let's see what this button does. I'm gonna push this button. What do you do? I'm gonna keep pushing this. There it is! Nice! Alright. Oh, nice, and another button. Get out of the way. Brutus, move it. I got buttons to push. <laughs> We're gonna push this button. Alright. The top moved. And now what? I'm gonna push this. Do I take this? I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna push that button. Nothing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Jeez Louise. Oh no, they all closed. Oh, nice. Alright, cool. My god, that took forever. I probably cut all that out, but Jesus Christ. I've been pushing buttons for a half hour here. <laughs> Alright. Can I take my lexicon? I'm gonna go, go over there before I take my lexicon. My lexicon's glowing now, and it opened up, so it's probably transcribed. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I don't want to mess this up, but we're gonna- whatever this is, we're gonna look at it first. Oh, it's an Elder Scroll. Ah, fuck. Uh, I'm grabbing the Elder Scroll. I'm grabbing the Elder Scroll. Done. I grabbed it. That's the last scroll. Oh, nice. Let's take it to Dexian. All right, well, hold on a second. I gotta go get that cube. The whole reason we came down here. Can I take this? Does not seem I can. Oh, yes, I can. Nice. All right. Nice. All right, so we got another Elder Scroll to bring to Dexion and a d transcribed lexicon to bring to Septimus. And that's it. We're done here. Beautiful. Let's go see what's in here. Oh, nice, another platform. I was going to say we can head back to that spot where we know we can get out, but let's see where this goes. Everybody ready? Let's see where this leads us. It looks like we have gotten out in the far north. The air is cold and we're getting colder. We'll see what's uh, going on in this abandoned campsite and then we're gonna make our way, I guess, north is where we gotta go. We are freezing cold. I'd love to get down off this mountain as fast as possible. Nothing in that chest. What's in this large sack? I just picked up an iron dagger, God damn it. <laughs> All right, we've got a bit of a ways northwest to go. We're gonna adventure our way there as always. I just had a crash to desktop, so I'm a little nervous. Just making sure we don't... not bump into anything that's gonna make us crash. I don't think we've been here before. I don't know what it might be. Ooh. There's a dead body here, and some wolves that we're just leaving, so that's probably what it was. Ooh, there's two dead bodies. Very bloody. Three, technically. Hmm. Let's take a look. An ice mage. I'm taking your soul gem, my friend. Oh, I assume they just got into a tangle with these wolves, and the wolves- Jesus Christ, there's a whole bunch of them. The wolves got the best of them. Where the hell are we? What is that? Oh, I know where we are. We're by Whiterun. Alright, whatever. We're going down this way. 
trying to find signs of any road. It should be- oh, it's right here, right in front of us. Oh, shit. What was that? Spiders! Oh, shit. There's one behind us. Get him! Get him! What are you doing? Don't let him hit you! Nice. Serana! Nice. Good enough. Beautiful. And they were chasing somebody. Let's go take a look. Serana with those fucking thralls. Alright, there's a giant in a cave. And they were chasing somebody. I mean, there's some footprints here. Whatever. We'll leave him be. I'm sure he's fine. Alright, we just gotta follow this down until we can find- I see another spider. We need to find a settlement so we can grab a cart out to, uh, Winterhold. Does it see us? Yes, it does. There we go. Nice! Nice, Serana. Alright. Onward. I'm gonna take out my torch. It's freezing. Absolutely freezing. I'm keep an eye out for a place to warm up. Oh, we could warm up in there. I think we've been in there before. Let's press on a little bit. I think the, um, there's an inn nearby. We might try to rest up there. I think it's, like, very close to here. Yes, indeed. There we go. We'll stop at the inn. Maybe, just maybe, we can catch a ride out of here. All right, we took a quick break. We're all warmed up. Back on the trail. Oh, what is this? Oh, shit. Are these hunters, or is this, uh... Oh, shit. Well, if it's hunters, we're gonna help them. If it's bandits, we'll deal with them. Oh, I don't think it's... I don't think it's hunters. I don't think it's hunters. Ah, shit. Yeah, it's not hunters. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take care of the archer. Stop shooting at me. Stop shooting at me, you jerk. Nice. All right. They're not hunters. I think it said it was the seducers. Where are you? Watch out for the fire, please. Who's who? Nice. Beautiful. All right. My word. Unexpected. Let's let that fire calm down. Get over here, you idiots. Oh, shit. This person was just passed out. Not anymore. All right. Defeat the seducer's bandit camp leader. All right, sure. <laughs> there goes his head. My God. All right. Let's take a look. What did he have? Oh, not much. A dark mace. Very interesting. It's too heavy for us to deal with. A seducer's shield. Not interested. We've got our Dawn Guard regalia. Heretical thoughts. We're going to read that. We'll take your, um, your lockpicks and we'll read your journal first, I suppose. Dark work, this, but does it ever pay well? Once every few days, a merchant comes galloping through, defenseless as a babe, and we seducers always do our good deed and lighten their load before we let them pass. It's the least we can do. Moving north was the best thing we ever did. Leave Rasad to the milk drinkers of Whiterun, or as they call themselves, the Saints. They're probably still hounding him on the road to Markarth. Svarig is behind on his visit. I wonder if his path from the west was more treacherous than usual. We need a change in our fortunes. If we don't get paid soon, I fear the others might not stay much longer. Hopefully this new lead pans out. Wait, I just thought you said you were making a ton of money. Interesting that he, uh, put all Thanks. that down in a notebook. <laughs> all the terrible things they're doing. Dark Seducer Boots. We'll take your gold necklace. Not your basket. Didn't want that. <laughs> a bandit's note on hidden treasure. An exotic treasure is said to be hidden in Crystal Drift Cave. Heard it from a coinless trader trying to save his own skin. Gonna send a few to see if the story checks out. If the story is true, we need to be sure that the saints don't find it first. Our benefactor will be pleased. And a note on the demented Elytra Nymph. I'll read that. Can't believe we carried this bug the whole way here, cage and all. Always afraid it's gonna find a way through the bars and eat me in my sleep. All right, we're gonna open this cage, but I think I opened the last one and we just set this guy free, because he makes a lot of weird noises. All right, we freed the nymph and a head rolled out. Great. <laughs> we'll talk to it. You're the second bug of your kind I've come across recently. Well, you're free. Good luck out there. <laughs> all right, good luck there, fella. That thing makes, uh, too much noise for me to ever have it come with us. <laughs> Alright, it seems we have the entirety of a fort blocking our path, possibly. Unless this sneaks around, it looks like we're gonna have to go through. We probably should have gone to Windhelm and taken a cart from there, but we're here now. Oh, it's the undead. 
Let me get my shield out. And we'll head in. We're gonna try to head across. Oh no, we can get around over here. The snow is settling. Alright, if we can get around, we're going around. We've got things to do. If we get dragged into a fight, so be it, but... Fort Kostov. Ah, shit. There we go. There you go. He's upset. Show He's upset. Oh, no, you don't, don't you shoot stuff. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, oh shit. Where'd you come from? Damn. What are you made of? Holy hell. Watch out for the fire. Watch out. Nice. Alright. I guess we're gonna clear the courtyard. Oh shit, what is that? Nothing. Alright. There was another skeleton up here. Let's just make sure the courtyard's clear and then we'll continue on our way. Alright, there's a skeleton dead over there. Elden gets that Wait. that ever uneasy feeling. Yeah, that's exactly Serana. You're dead. Who? Who's dead? Oh shit. Teach you. Nice. Good shit, Serana. We're not going into Fort Kostov because we have competing priorities in two opposite directions. We've got to get the captain's quarters. Very interesting, I will say. Very, very interesting. Um, but we have a wizard to meet up with. And then somebody who's going to tran- to, uh, not transcribe. Somebody who's gonna read our Elder Scrolls. We have like four of them now. Alright. Onward. And take my torch back out. Keeps us just a little bit warm. Dragonborn, huh? Don't you was dare. Your your pop, How dare you? I've been a friend to you, Eric. How dare you? <laughs> there is a loose horse up here. Hmm. Interesting. Oh shit, who, who? The goat? Why is the goat trying to kill us? <laughs> Watch out for the fire. God damn it, Serana with that fire. It's just a pony just hanging out. We could take it. We'll bring it to town. We'll take it to town. Because we could we could take this. There we go. Oh, the pony is stolen? Hmm. It wasn't red. What do you mean it's stolen? Whatever. We're taking it. Do I still have my torch out? We're putting our torch away. Serana, do you not have a horse because you're an idiot? Oh my god. <laughs> Serana doesn't have a horse. Everything's a mess. We're going to consider the pony a windfall and we're going to ride it. Stillborn cave. Hmm. Consider the pony a windfall. We're going to ride it to um, Winterhold. There's a bunch of trolls down there. I think we've been this way before. Can everybody keep up? Serana won't ride a horse because she's a weirdo. Let me take out my my weapon and see if we can deal with these. You're not getting the best of me. Nice. Got him. <laughs> Got him. I did get hit though, that's unfortunate, but. What are you gonna do? Who is this? Alright, that's where we're going. As long as no one gets mad at us for being on this horse. I'm not trying to get in trouble. We're not gonna talk to that. That's a guard, so we're not gonna talk to you. We'll leave the horse just outside of town. It should have been red to ride it. It should have said no, but it obviously was somebody's horse and we just doomed somebody to die in the cold, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, nice. And there's my horse. My actual horse is in town. Very nice. All right. I think it's still early in the day, but we might rest. I don't know. Maybe we'll head out to go see that guy. We'll warm up in the, uh, in the tavern. All right, we warmed up a bit in the inn at Winterhold, and we are going to head down to see if we can catch up with this wizard, which I think was this way. I'm pretty sure it was. All right, my goodness. Why don't you live a little further away, Septimus? My god. In we go. <laughs> oh, Septimus, my good man. We have your lexicon. Where the hell are you? Here you are. How do I get down there? This way? My word. Why don't you move your house a little further away? Oh, that's right. You're here because of this thing. This giant lexicon. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. All right. Well, I've inscribed your lexicon. Give it quickly. <laughs> All right. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. 
A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick! Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. All right. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Okay. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come, when what? the set is complete. Give the light. Harvest high elf blood. Harvest wood elf blood. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Dark elf blood and Falmer blood. <laughs> you couldn't give me that ahead of time. Oh my god. You jerk. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Whatever. Whatever with you. I don't know what I'm going to get out of working with you, but it better be good. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell is this? Wait a minute. What? What is this? Why is it reaching towards me? Stop! Ah, oh, fuck. All right, we're gonna have to go into whatever that is, I guess. Uh, all right, let me read the journal real quick. All right, the journal just says harvest blood. I don't remember there being a giant tentacle monster right outside the door. <laughs> That's the way we came in here, right? Holy shit. All right, whatever. God damn it. Can, do you have any information on this? <laughs> let me talk to him one more time. How long will it be sung? Oh my god, shut up. Why are you so eager to- Shut up! Rock. Why are you so eager oh, to open this box? <laughs> ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence the of God. The heart of what? Alright, whatever. I have devoted uh, my life to the Elder Scrolls. I guess I'm gonna go touch whatever this is. I hate the idea. The Wretched Abyss. Come closer. I don't want to. Uh, in my presence. Who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. All right. What do you... Oh my God, this is horrifying. What do you want of me? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Okay. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. All when right. that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say what? you? Oh, I don't think so. All right, no. Absolutely not. We're not serving the wretched abyss. It is a vile demon, and Eldman and his team are good guys, so no. I will never join you, vile demon. Be warned. Oh, God. Many have thought <laughs> as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not <laughs> evade me forever. Oh, Jesus. Okay, he's gonna let us out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, all right, great. I guess we're gonna be running into him if we keep helping Septimus. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, we made it back into town, and I think that's where we're going to leave it. We gave Septimus his transcribed lexicon, and I guess we're going to be seeing more of that wretched abyss if we keep helping him. But we have other things on our agenda. When we come back, I think we're going to be heading to Riften to deliver these Elder Scrolls to a man named Dexion to see if he can read the rest of them. But we'll do that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Skyrim, and I'll see you next time. Stop!